die real quick. Let's just for a minute. This is my water. Okay. Does that happen regularly? Yeah. Um, when I was 15 years old, it was New Year's of 20. 14, I believe going on to 2015. I got sick. I was, I was ill for about a week. I had a, a cold virus that had got into my spinal cord and caused damage with my nerves. Paralyzed both arms, my chest, my neck, part of my face, my throat. The name of the virus was the Enterovirus D68, and the condition that they diagnosed me with was acute flaccid mellitus, AFM. On the way to the hospital, when I uh, woke up and wasn't able to move my arms, I remember praying on the way to the hospital. I remember my relationship with God changing in the sense that it was like, it was kind of like clinging on to him a little bit. I was clinging on to God while I was in the hospital, just I was so delirious and so confused. It was kind of like, what else is there really? So yeah, I remember, I remember calling out to him frequently and just listening to some of my favorite worship songs just to make me feel better. I remember even calling out to God and trying to bargain uh, in that situation. So yeah, during, during the hospital, it was definitely important for me to cling on to him. My relationship with God now is, I don't want to say it's not there. Um, my grandfather, as I, as I stated earlier, I, um, my church family was a huge motivation for me to go to church and just be active in my faith. And my grandfather is an elder at my home church, so he often texts me and asks me about my relationship with God, and he'll text me just to let me know that he's praying for me, you know, or he'll send me uh, verses from the Bible here and there. So, like, God is still there and present in my life. A lot of my good friends are Christians, but I'm definitely not very active in it right now. So when I moved up here, I did begin to go to more intense physical therapy and occupational therapy at the hospital instead of just like a sports physical therapy type of facility. So I, through that, was equipped with a couple of different braces, uh, which definitely has helped with my like posture and just the placement of like my bones and joints and stuff like that. As I've like grown, there's been new challenges and new like pains. So it's been good in, in some ways and in other ways, not so much. I went to Lane Community College for a year and returned. My major was music technology and audio engineering. So there was a heavy focus on music theory, as well as like learning how to mix and master audio and record audio. I still work on music in my free time. Um, I'd say I have six songs that I would consider complete enough to show somebody. <laughs> And I have endless projects that I would not put in the same boat, so, yeah. The kind of music that I make right now, I would describe as... Um, I want to say it's like hip-hop, electronic, but I'm not necessarily like trying to be a rapper. My interests are lying more in the production and more in like the instrumental creation. Uh, so that's sort of what I do, I make hip-hop beats. I definitely have like faced new challenges moving out onto my own, but I think they're just kind of mainly basic challenges that a lot of people my age experience, you know, such as just basically learning how to be on your own and handle things on your own. It's different in some cases because there are limitations that I have with my disability when it comes to things like cooking. It's been a little bit tough trying to learn how to adapt to that, but so far it's been it's been good. And just like everything else I've, I've adapted to, it's just something to take time with and figure out. Uh, the most rewarding thing about being on my own, I think, is just knowing that now that I've like been on my own for a few months, I know that I'm capable. Um, in high school, I didn't think that I was going to be able to handle being on my own and like paying bills and having a job and, and just like living adult life. But now that I've like been doing it, it doesn't like frighten me anymore, and it's good to know that like I was able to take control of a situation like this, and it makes me feel better about like other situations that I know I'm going to have to take control of in my life.